Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm presenting a paper about a visual screening app. So I would like to start with a short video. Afterwards, I'll be briefing about it. So this is our ophthalmologist who is uh, training the uh, children. They are non-healthcare volunteers about this app. Can I have the volume? Volume? So in their own vernacular language, he's explaining the mobile app to the kids. They were uh, going through a brief uh, understanding about the app. So they started using it and then uh, we, we use uh, tested the app on a patient too. So actually, uh, the audio is not playing. This application has auditory cues to give a wrong answer or right answer. Anyways, I'll be briefing about it in the presentation. So it's a rapid eye screening test, a mobile app-based screening in the outreach camps. I have no financial disclosures. So visual acuity is the most uh, frequently performed test in OPDs. So we use uh, the common Snellen chart and also the ETDRS charts. So a Snellen chart has different number of rows, uh, characters per row, and there is no logarithmic decrease in the letter size, whereas ETDRS has equal number of characters and uh, logarithmic decrease in the between the successive rows. What we wanted to study is whether this app, the visual acuity screen through this REST app, is in comparison with the standard ETDRS tumbling E chart. So this is, uh, uh, this is how you can download this app. It is available in the Play Store for all the Android and uh, iOS devices. Once you uh, install the app, you will have to make preliminary settings. You keep the uh, setting whether you are going to test at 3 meters or at 1 meter. Suppose you want to test at 3 meters, you need to calibrate the first optotype letter to 43 millimeter with a ruler scale. You can install it on your app, uh, on your mobiles or your tab or any such device. And then if you want to test at 1 meter, you have to calibrate it to 14 mm, only the first letter of the optotype. Once you have made these settings, you can start the test. It's not moving. Yeah. So uh, you need to place the uh, app with the highest uh, screening uh, brightness. And you can, it also has positive cues. If the pa patient gives a right answer, it gives a positive sound. And if a patient gives a negative answer, it gives a negative sound. So this uh, study was conducted at four outreach camps for a period of four weeks. So 200 patients were screened and we measured, we trained uh, non-healthcare children and volunteers to conduct the test. And then we recheck the test using the ETDRS chart. Uh, patients with vision less than 6 by 60 were excluded. So the mean age of the patients was 52.8 years, and uh, out of uh, which 106 eyes had immature cataract and 40 eyes had mature cataract. Uh, once the visual acuity was recorded, we converted it into Logmar visual acuity for both using the REST app and the ETDRS app. We found that the mean Logmar visual acuity measured by the REST app was 0.785 plus or minus 0.211. And with the ETDRS was 0 0.789 plus or minus 0 0.211. There is a significant positive correlation between the two test methods uh, using the Pearson correlation. And p-value was less than 0 0.001. So also the time taken during the test was noted. And we, we found that the trainee, after a brief training, uh, using the REST app was recording using 19 seconds. And the ETDRS chart took around 21 seconds. So this is a line diagram to correlate our test results and it found that using the app and the ETDRS you get a strong correlation between the two test methods. So what I would like to tell is this app is user friendly you can easily download and when you want to go to the camps you can carry it you all carry the mobile technology is far more used now. So this is time saving and accurate mass screening you can uh, Generally, uh, you can even uh, train the unskilled volunteers and utilize them in de early detection of low vision and do further management. 
So uh, this is one of uh, the best advantage of this app. So limitation is that the screen contrast and brightness of the devices cannot be standardized. And also since it uh, runs on battery, battery lifespan is one such limitation. My references and thank you.